Hello everybody, so today I'm filming my May favourites, so I'm going to be talking about all of my kind of favourite things throughout May. I feel like it was like literally like a couple of weeks since I filmed my April favourites, so I'm not actually going to be talking about that much stuff. I've got a fair few food favourites here, um, so there's quite a lot of that, but there's no makeup, no fashion, no skincare, nothing like that. I do have a couple of updates in this video though, so I am going to kind of include that at the beginning of the video that are obviously favourites of this month. So if you saw my last update video, which was kind of like a catch-up video, I talked about wanting um, to start driving in the summer holidays, wanting to get a job in the summer holidays, and also starting uni very soon. If you watched that, then you'll know that that was that kind of update video. Well, literally as soon as I posted that video, all of that had changed. Apart from the uni thing, I'm still going to uni. I have actually managed to get a job. So my brother had a job at this garden nursery place. So it's like a place where they make like plants. Well, they don't make plants, they grow plants. I do biology. They grow plants, um, things like that, and Christmas trees and loads of stuff. And basically Tommy worked there for like a year. Then they said, oh, we don't need you anymore for whatever reason. And then they brought him back in again and said, oh, if anyone else kind of needs a job, then ask them. So he asked me. So now I'm going and I'm working there. I am basically, I go there every single Saturday from eight till 12 and I pot plants for basically four hours. I'm stood in the same place for four hours potting plants, but I don't mind because it's actually quite therapeutic. I'm doing a lot of revision, you know, quite a lot now. So it's quite nice to actually have a break to myself and just not really have to think about it. It's quite an easy thing to do. So you can't really mess it up. Um, just part in the plants really, unless you kind of leave some weeds in, which I have a couple of times. Um, but you know, we sorted that out. Um, so it is quite nice. It's, you know, it's not something I'd be able to do every single day because I'd get bored out of my mind but every single Saturday is fine and I do quite like it. So I've got that, very happy with that. So it's a bit of extra cash. Didn't expect to get that job, but yep, yeah, got that. And I've also started driving. So um, me and Tommy have got a car. It's a Vauxhall Polo and we've called it Percy. Tommy doesn't like the name, but I do because it's Percy Polo. Me and my friends call it Percy, so we're just gonna stick with it. Um, and it looks like a Percy to me, so that's what we're going with. Um, and I really like it, it's cute. It's like the perfect car for like starting out. So that's mine and Tommy's car that we share. Both of us are learning to drive at the same time. Tommy is 17, he's one year younger than me because obviously I'm 18, but we are learning at the same time. Dad's been teaching us. I've actually picked up driving so much quicker than I thought I would. I, I didn't think, it, you know, I'd pick it up this quickly, even though I've still got such a long way to go, but I didn't think I would be on the road comfortably driving along. I say comfortably, but you know, driving along at this stage um we've only been learning for like just over a month and i'm i'm you know absolutely fine um there was a stage though where i got in the car and this was kind of you know in the early stages of learning and i stalled 10 times before i set off that was when i did not understand the clutch and the accelerator and how you kind of do a bit of both whereas i was just doing clutch and then accelerator when you kind of need to do a bit of both. But I figured it out and I've got that down now, so it's all good. I used to keep leaving the handbrake on, don't know why, like I would pull the handbrake off but it would still be slightly on, and so the car would be like beep, 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 but we're, we're all good, we fixed that now. Um, so yeah, I'm out and about on the roads now, and I am a little bit scared being on the road, but I just, you know, you've got to push yourself. I know with myself what I'm capable of, and even though it is a little bit of a challenge, you have to push yourself into things. Sometimes there are situations, though, like in life in general, where it's too much of a challenge, and I know that I'm not going to force myself to do that. You just need to know your own self. Um, so. I've just been steadily going along. Tommy does seem to be a little bit better at driving than me in terms of he's got so much more confidence. He's just jumping straight in the car, goes up to every roundabout. He would happily just drive to like, I don't know, like France. He, he wouldn't be bothered. I'm on about you, you driving. What? That you seem to be more, way more confident at driving than me. Yeah. Yeah. He's driving us to Caister this afternoon from Lincoln. And I might be driving us home, but we don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, we're doing good. We're doing well. I'm enjoying it. It's fun. We will start lessons like, you know, whenever. Um, but because dad's teaching us, it means that we don't have to have quite as many lessons. Like right now, if we'd had just lessons and not dad teaching us, we would have spent like hundreds and hundreds of pounds 
so we've saved quite a lot of money with him just teaching us um and then we'll have the test and i'll let you know i'm gonna do some drive with me videos where you um there's like obviously when i'm more comfortable you know um in the car where i show me driving along ah not on your phone when you're driving georgie Please no stop. it's a camera and you are allowed to film yourself while you're driving because you just leave it on the edge um but it doesn't bother me when there's a camera on me like it wouldn't distract me or put me off like to me a camera is just a camera um i don't get scared but yeah so that's the driving i've got a message Update. for an asshole by the way so uh if, if that asshole that stuck in the middle of the thing could put me out while i was driving the other day is watching this video <laughs> you're an asshole huh you know you did nothing wrong <laughs> I did nothing wrong, rather. <laughs> That's right. Someone stuck their middle finger up at Tommy whilst he was driving. I didn't even do anything wrong. Why do people do that? Like, clearly, learn Literally. a driver. Why would you then think, oh, yeah, let's stick my middle finger up at them? Well, what it makes me want to do is key your car. That's what I'll do. Key it next time I see you. It's a warning. If you're Please watching. Well, all my friends are like, that was me. Okay, so that's the little update in that. Um, is there anything else? Um, okay, we might as well just get into kind of the foods that I've been loving. So, first things first, this bottle here is from Lidl. It is their Deluxe Sparkling Sicilian, Sicilian Lemonade with Spring Water. This is amazing. I, the first time I tried it was yesterday, and it is in this favourites video. So, you know, I love it. It's amazing. Um, they i'm sure they sell this or something similar to this in pizza express because that was my all-time favorite drink and it is tastes identical to this so this is my all-time favorite drink way better than chaleur and if you know me you'll be like whoa i have a very strong like taste buds that love sour things like i would happily oh i have happily eaten a whole lemon like an orange i just love it like sour tastes are amazing and it has to be really really sour so this is perfect for sourness um and i love it so that's in the favorites also we have noodles these instant noodles i'm gonna have some of those in a minute for lunch this is actually spicy prawn flavor but oh hello um you can't even see tommy oh there he is um but there are loads of different flavors and they're just really nice to have for lunch Whenever I have kind of pasta or anything like that for lunch, I get so tired that I have to have a nap in the afternoon. I don't get that with these, oh, so little nap. they're a great little thing to have for lunch. Tommy has them too. I don't have naps. No, noodles. Oh. Also, red onions. Love red onions. I love red onions um, with cheese in a toasted sandwich. Love red onions in a salad. Um, sandwiches, wraps, meals, anything. I love a good red onion. Do mind him. Also, I've been getting into drinking coffee recently. Didn't and think alcohol. I would, but not alcohol. Um, but I've never really liked coffee ever until a few months ago when I just thought, I want a coffee. What is this? Coffee? And then ever since I just wanted it, Steph got me it for my birthday. Oh, yeah, thanks, Steph, for my little sign. Appreciate it. Smile! Um, so, yeah, I've been liking little coffees. I only have like one a day. I'm not like that kind of person that will have like six a day or something because that is not good for you. Um, don't want to get addicted to coffee. I don't think I ever really got into coffee in the first place because I didn't want to become addicted to coffee because I know loads of people are. So, you know, but don't worry, I'm not addicted yet because I can go without it. And then, oh my God, there's a dead fly on my laptop. Oh my God, this fly is dying on my laptop. Let me do it, I'll put it out as misery. No, 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 just let it die. As we speak, there is a dying fly on my laptop. Okay, I'll let him die on his own. Don't kill him, Tommy. I'm not fucking off. Look, see, he's still alive. Oh, that's sick. Where'd you get that from? Mum got it from, from Italy. Mum got me this from Italy. It's the pasta alla stragalata. Okay, there's this pasta here. Um, this is what the pasta shapes look like here. There's a little fork thing and then the sauce here. This is what she got when she went to Italy. So I'm going to give this a good go. Um, I'm not including it in a favourites because it is a favourite. I'm including it in a favourites because it looks cool and I can't wait to try it. So obviously I haven't tried it yet. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm sure it'll be fine. That fly is really distracting me. Um, oh yeah. And finally, I forgot to include it in my April favourites the so last month. But this bag here I got from Tesco. Loved the colour. Me and Mum did a What's in Our Spring bag video together. That was actually really funny. So go and check it out if you haven't. Um, but yeah, this is my little bag from Tesco. It was really cute. Um, and I actually 
really really love it so it's a perfect size so I thought I'd include it in there so that is everything for this favorites video it was more of a kind of chatty update slash interruptions from Tommy slash talk about some food favorites video um but there will probably be more products next month so stay tuned on my channel give the video a thumbs up subscribe if you want to see more of this fast and i will see you very soon goodbye